Hi, I'm Bree with Dirigo Design Development. If you're watching this video, you've likely downloaded or have contemplated the use of Dirigo Edge, our open source ASP.NET content management system. Edge was developed to be a lightweight, extensible CMS. It has thousands of downloads and installations across the globe. In this video, I will guide you through the installation. Before we begin, make sure you have the following programs installed. Visual Studio 2012, SQL 2012, or 2008, and the latest version of MVC. The first step requires the setup of a database on a Microsoft SQL Server. Let's go ahead and log into our server. Now, let's create the database. Right-click Databases and select New Database. Let's name the database Demo Edge. Next, we need to set up a login for the database. Right-click Security, and then New, and then Login. Let's use the login name Demo Edge. Select SQL Server Authentication and give the login a decent password. Make sure to record the password in a secure location. Uncheck Enforce Password Policy, as we don't want the password resetting for our database connection. Set the default database to the database we just created, in this case, Demo Edge. Now we need to give the user access to the database. Open User Mappings. Select Demo Edge and then check DB Owner. This step is vital to ensure our web application has access to the database. Go ahead and click OK. Now we need to populate our new database with tables used by ASP.NET. In order to do this, we need to run the ASP.NET SQL Server setup. This can be found in the Microsoft.NET 4.0 Framework folder. Let's step through this setup. Here you will need to put in your server name or IP and log in with the user. This should populate the databases you have access to. Select Demo Edge. Click Next, and now we wait. Let's open up SQL Server again and see if the tables were populated. Looks like everything worked. Next, I will cover how to connect Edge to our new database to get our web application working. Let's open up a location to store the code for Edge. I typically choose a folder within www.root so I can easily create a local development site with IIS. Edge is currently available for download in our Google SVN repository. I will use Tortoise SVN, a free SVN client, to download and manage the repository for this tutorial. Once you have decided on your location, right-click within the folder and select SVN Checkout. Type the URL of the Dirgo Edge repository and click OK to begin downloading. The download should only take 3 to 5 minutes. Now that we have downloaded the repository, drill into the Dirgo Edge folder. Here you will see a solution file. Let's open this up using Visual Studio. Now that we have our project open, let's look at the web config.
Remember that database user we created? This is where it comes into play. Find the connection string for the data context on line 13. Replace the data source, password, user ID, and catalog. The catalog is the database name. Now we need to update the database context to populate the tables needed to run Edge. Open the Package Manager console. You can get to it here, or you may have to select it under the Tools menu. It may ask that you restore the NuGet packages in the solution. Go ahead and restore them. Now, let's type the command to update the database. It is simply update-database. Dash reverse will cause the command to print out the executed SQL. I typically do this to make sure things go smoothly. Looks like the tables have been successfully created. Let's check the database. As you can see, the tables have been populated. Now we are ready to build and launch our Edge instance. Simply deploy the website. Now that the installation is set up, you are ready to design your website and add content via modules and pages. We encourage you to check back for additional videos and how-tos.